people. All right, people, what's up? It's A C. I actually had to make a video because hey, we got some new content into the game. And judging by that new content, it's time I bring back some old decks of mine, add stuff to new decks of mine, and kind of revamp some stuff. So let's get into this because I am excited. Uh, it's not tier limits, it's not tier limits, and a lot of people are probably going to pass on this thing, but I want to actually do it. So one thing I got to note right now in the shop, we have a new bundle deal with Nibiru as a thing. Definitely hop on this, man. You know you know what? Nibiru is still a cool card, and you're going to see a lot of people special summon the monsters like anyway. Cool hand trap. I only have one of them, I think, so I wouldn't mind actually getting another one from this pack. I want to just spend them gems. You got some accessories. No new dual mates, but we got a new protector as uh, the world legacy stuff. It's a background. This this artwork on that thing looks amazing, though. I gotta say, that looks freaking fantastic. We also have another one for witchcrafters. Anyone's a fan of witchcrafters? I actually had a deck profile with it before. They got some new support to the game. I'm not going for it just yet. That looks pretty damn cool. I'm, I don't mind. What am I rebuilding my witchcrafters? A new monster art. We have the world legacy thing. I might have to get this. Holy, sh that looks nice, man. Oh, world legacy is a, is a well. It's an art type that has many different things, sort of like mech knights, crawler as world legacy and stuff like that. Guard dragon I think is included into it too. Really cool. See, I haven't got any of that stuff recently, but uh, we have a new solo mode as well, which is it might be a world legacy thing, maybe a crawler. Or maybe not. Hold on, let me go see what else, what's like. Oh yeah, so it's new stuff added to the world legacy thing. Where the world legacy leads, I never really. I always wanted to make a deck of world legacy, but I don't really know how to go about it. I might actually go back because the game gives you a whole bunch of those cards at the beginning. Shop wise, we have a lot of cool stuff in the shop. Uh, so this is the previous stuff that you probably seen: sprites and stuff, a G Golem, Rainbow Dragon, Gym Knights. We have uh, kind of legacy stuff with the uh, Joker stuff, and then you got uh, ancient, ancient Fairy Dragon. But this is the new pack that's out right now. So I want to actually go into the card list and include it, but just so you see. So you are. So we're going to have the Mayakashi support. I love the Mayakashi deck, and I've been waiting for this card specifically so I can link climb into the link three when I need it, because right now I'm only going to the link twos, you know. but Adding that on to it, I think this is going to be really cool. I might have to put my Shiju stuff in hand because we got new support like crazy. We got IP Masquerade into the deck. If you get it, really cool to be part of the selection pack. Crawler Soma. I don't know what this card specifically does. Let me see. You can target one face up monster. You can control special summon this card from your hand. If you do, the targeted monster is face turn a face down defense, defense position. Also, it cannot be. Also, it cannot change its battle position for the rest of the turn. During your main phase, you can reduce this card's level by two. Or four, and if you touch someone, call a monster from your neck, from your, oh, yeah, from your deck with a different name, graveyard. Okay, because total level equal to the amount of reduced in the face of. Oh, okay, so, so we got some crawler support into the thing. It's artwork of that looks really cool. I never really got into crawler too much. I think the deck isn't too 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 strong, but besides that, we got the doodle beast stuff. This one I've been waiting. This what I've been waiting for. My friend, shout out to Dave, but hey, you know I love the dinos. I'm excited for this. I might have to go ahead and crab this if I'm actually pull it from the pack. But Doodle Beast comes with three cards. We got Doodle Beast Tyranno, Doodle Beast Stego, and Doodle Beast uh, uh uh uh. That's the trap card. So really cool dino support. We have the Witchcrafter support with the new spell card, Witchcrafter Confession, Confession, Confusion Confession, and also we have the Witchcrafter Vice um, Madame Madame. Really, well, that artwork is amazing today. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting that. Also, Dynatank, which I don't know if I'm going to use this card because it's quite a machine and stuff. But with the Scrap Raptor engine into my deck, I wouldn't mind having to use it. I don't think it's that good, though. I'm mostly excited for the Mayakashi stuff, including the Mayakashi Trap card, which can go into the Shiranui and Mayakashi cards, which is really cool. So, neither player can special summon monsters on a, from your hand, deck, or extra deck for the rest of the turn. You can banish this card from the graveyard and target one of your banished zombie monsters, return to the graveyard. And if you do, use one. Uh, you can only use one Ghost Meets Girl Master. I gotta use this card. This card is definitely a three of in my Akashi to me because, hell, stopping the special summon effects of uh, monsters in your opponent's turn, incredible. So that is the UR stuff, SR stuff. We got some Time Thief stuff. I don't really think Time Thief support wise, but since it's in the selection pack, you might as well go ahead and do it. 
We have uh, some crawler stuff in the pack. We have the level, the Link 2 Mayakashi. This one's actually new. It's Dynabase. It goes with that, um, with that, uh, Dino Fusion that was just shown. And you can do combos with that. Now you got some witch character stuff in here. The Hornet. We have Time Thief. Temporal Wall. This is the new card for Time Thieves, I'm thinking. And I would, I, I, I'm gonna have to bring back Time Thieves. This is looking, this is looking good. A lot of my older decks are actually getting support, I see. We have uh, the Ancient Warriors. I don't know if this is new or not. We have Grand Dust. This is for... I don't know what that's supporting wise, but it's a dragon. And this is the other Doodle Beast card. This will be Stego. It goes whole, hand in hand with my Doodle Beast. Uh-uh. It's a trap card. Usually you just want one, one, one of them, but it's pretty cool. You also can get a uh, double pill evolution, double evolution pill into the deck. So keep that in mind. We also have new Insector cards, I think. So shout out to Primo if you want to play this deck. Again, Insectors are cool. Ancient Warriors stuff. Ancient Warriors is all, all really looks amazing regardless of it. We also get a new War Rock card, which I've been waiting for for a long time. People know I love War Rocks. I haven't did an updated video for a while, but since that new card is in here, oh yeah. That's, that's not the new card, but it's not the new card. We also have a card called Vivid Tales, a trap card which looks really cool. These these are the SRs. These are the these are the rares you want to get from it. And this is the kind of new card for War Rocks. I've been like this is War Rock Medium. The while your opponent controls special summon a monster, and if you control a level seven or higher War Rock monster during your main phase, Needle Player can activate the effects of monsters on the field. And during the main phase, you can set one War Rock spell and track card directly from your deck and set War Rock Medium. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except War Rock monsters. As a continuous spell, plus you're going to be able to set uh, War Rock Mountain to give you extra stuff. This card, I don't know if it's going to make the War Rock deck meta or anything like that, but people know I love my War Rocks. I'm definitely willing to try it out. I'm ready to make a deck deck list for and stuff. And you get some other cards. Oh, oh, this is another Time Thief. This is a new Time Thief card. I'm not 100%. Um, it might not be a new, new one, but a Jester is uh, really walking into the Time Thief deck. And the Master Duel meta has some stuff for it already, but I don't really follow that too, too much because you, you, don't really, you don't get to experience like the fun cards you see. You know, you got some new crawl, you got some crawler stuff in here, some Mayakashi support, uh, Deus X crawler, you got Raw's Cyber to go with the Raw. Oh, yeah, Raw, Raw support is in this deck. I, I completely forgot about that. You know, Witchcraft and stuff. Overall, I think. Uh, if you want to say your gems, say your gems. Me, I'm actually going for it because, hell, uh. Some of the card, well, mostly URs. The UR and SR is what I really need from it. The rare and normal, I can always just, you know, make some up with that. But let me guys, let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, select the pack. This is the pack before Telemann stuff drops, I think. And also, hey, don't forget to actually pick up that bundle, because that bundle might come up with something clutch. That's all I gotta say about this. Ace Sayer signing out.